What's up, everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you find yourself. I find myself reminiscing of the past, thinking about games that I know I've played that clearly were inspired by other games. And we've all been there before. You're playing a game and you're thinking to yourself, man, I know I've played something like this or something similar to this. This video is going to be just about that. We're going to address the topic of games that inspired other games. We're going to start things off with a classic game that I love from my youth. And the name of that game is Defender. Now, I used to have this for the Atari 2600. And although today, by today's standards, it looks very dated, one of the things that the Atari in retrospect did very well is its scrolling. The way it scrolls from left to right, the screen is incredible. You know, and I know that it's, you might laugh at that, but honestly, that can, that goes a long way. If you look at old school consoles and games, they weren't all scrolling the same, if you know what I mean. So this game has that going for it. But And if you notice, the objective of the game is you have these um, aliens that want to pretty much uh, abduct humans. And you have to basically uh, help humans on the map. At the very center, top screen, that's your map. And it tells you which people um, have been abducted. As soon as they're abducted, you have to shoot the alien. Make Make sure not to shoot the people which is indicated by that, that little circle yes that little circle is humans and you safely have to carry the humans back down to the city and that's the objective of the game and you know what there's been a few games that remind me of this one and let's go ahead and take a look at those right now and the game that reminds me of defender is a game by the name of chopper command this game also came out for the 2600 in 1982 believe it or not and uh, I mean, look at it for yourself, guys. Uh, it's very, very similar. You have a beam that shoots very similar to Defender. You're also scoring from left to right. And in this case, you actually want to defend the trailers and trucks at the bottom of the screen and you want to protect them. The graphics are actually not too bad for an Atari 2600. I do like the background. It looks like the, uh, like the dawn uh, of, of the day, like the sun is coming down. Pretty good, not too bad. I want to give a shout out to Dad72. He brought this up when, we, when I was doing a live stream and I told him that I was going to make this video of games that remind me of other games shout out dad 72 for your suggestion but there's another game that i remember that reminds me of defender and it's actually much more modern let's check it out that game of course being resogun now this game did come out for the ps4 on november of 2013 it is an exclusive and let me say this it is very similar to defender as far as the gameplay goes uh, it's pretty much the same thing as far as going left and right, but this game, because of technology and it's way more modern, um, it does have a 3D aspect to it that you can see around the screen behind you and you can see in front of you. It basically rotates uh, as in a circle and it is absolutely incredible because it takes the same basic uh, formula from the original but totally enhances it in a 3D uh, format. So yes, this game is absolutely incredible. Um, I cannot say enough good things about it. And as far as the gameplay, so yeah, you have these aliens that are pretty much trying to take over the world and uh, you have to save the humans, similar to Defender, although in Defender, they were just little dots and these, at least they're little humans. You can make out what they are, you know, even though they are even still generic. Now you see that green, there's like a green light that will hit that box where the humans are trapped. Um, once the light hits it, it's going to open up the box and the human is going to get out of the box and you have to help the human. Uh, they can walk around, um, but you want to protect them because they're not safe. See, there's another light right there. There was a green light and it opens up the box and <laughs> the little human is hanging on for dear life. And you have to take them to that safety zone, which is like that. You see it right there. It's like that. I don't even know. It's like a triangular shape. They have that green beam that's a kind of radiating energy north northward. But yes, so this game is absolutely incredible. See, there's a there's a light. I don't know if I missed it right here. Um, and you have bombs as well to clear out the whole screen. And you get multipliers. You also get a lot of, you get more points. See, there's a human right there to my bottom. I picked them up right now. And you have to take them to the safety zone. This game is absolutely incredible. I cannot say enough good things about Resogun. Now, one thing I want to mention is that this game does have local co-op. So if you want to play couch co-op, you definitely can with a friend, which is awesome. Uh, I'm not sure about online. I haven't checked it, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure it should still work. Now, if you notice, this is the very first boss. You have boss fights, and you have to penetrate through that um, barrier that he has, like that yellow barrier. You have to penetrate uh, very tactfully 
through different stages of the boss fight and it's absolutely incredible the fact that they're um you know adding so many gameplay features another thing i forgot to mention is that the spaceship can actually shoot forward and backward so yeah as you're inside of this big giant boss that looks like a donut uh you have to be very careful not to get killed here and you have to keep penetrating until you get to the very center of the boss persistence is key and there we are we are victorious and we fly away like the heroes that we are look at all these sparks going on, on the screen absolutely incredible beautiful graphics and i think it plays really good homage to the defender and uh games of that era the classic shooters um this game is incredible i absolutely love it the next game on this list is an all-time classic i'm talking about pitfall for the atari 2600 this game was designed and developed by the legendary Mr. David Crane who would go on to found Activision. The reason this game is significant is because it's generally considered to be the very first platformer in gaming history. The very first true platformer that is. And in the game you have obstacles you navigate through and eventually you're going to run across treasure. And the name of the game is to rack up as many points as possible while navigating through these obstacle courses. You know, it's simple in design, but difficult to master, and it certainly influenced a lot of games to follow. You have a timer to complete the course. If not, you can also die. Truly legendary, and let's see which games it influenced. The very first game that would follow as a result of Pitfall is a sequel, Pitfall 2. This game is significant because, of course, it was also designed by David Crane, but it is basically the same thing as Pitfall, but kind of on steroids. There's just a lot more going on, a lot of layers uh, through the levels, you know, you still have scorpions, you have different types of animals that can uh, hurt you on your quest. But this game is a lot more complex, a lot more levels to the level design, if that makes any sense. You have layers upon layers of platforming. You also have water that you have to navigate to. And similar to the original Pitfall, you also have treasure. So the name of the game is you're trying to rack up points, trying to not get hit by, by enemies. But also, this game introduced checkpoints. You have these crosses that serve as checkpoints and if you die you go back to that checkpoint pretty much you, you won't completely die until you exhaust all of your points so as long as you continue to get treasure uh very similar to part one you're going to rack up points but the points decrease every time you get hit uh, if you look at the level it's just very interesting how you have different layers of of, of the cave as you keep going deeper and deeper this game is, is different than the original pitfall because there's more emphasis on exploring but going down underneath uh whether it's water or just the caves themselves um, but notice the design here because it's going to be very significant for the game that was not really a sequel to this one, but the inspiration is very evident. And that game of course being A Boy and His Blob. Yep, this game was also designed by David Crane. Now this game is very interesting because I would argue that it's not exactly a sequel to Pitfall 2, but my goodness, the similarities, the parallels are evident. It's a very similar game. You know, you scroll from left to right, and unlike Pitfall, Pitfall 1 or Part 2, you can't really jump. This game, um, it does things a little bit differently, but similar to Pitfall 2, this game has more of an emphasis of going down. And eventually, uh, you start off in the city, and you keep going down, you keep going down into like caves, which is, yeah, you guessed it, very similar to Pitfall 2. Um, and the difference of this game is that you have this little blob with you, it's a boy and his blob, and you have a little boy and a little blob and the blob he can actually change to different shapes which will help you out on your adventure he can turn into ladders he can turn into pretty much any kind of object that you need him to turn to he can put a hole on the floor so this game even though you can't jump per se it's kind of emphasizes going down and down and down and of course if you want to climb a ladder you can go back up eventually you will come across treasures and you will come across um very similar again very similar to pitfall 2 and the design is oh my goodness so similar to pitfall 2 i mean let me know what you guys think but yeah i guess what sets this game apart is that you know the blob is the game changer he's the one that allows everything to happen he's the one that allows you to go to different multiple layers of the levels um but i really do believe that at the heart and its core this game is big time influenced by pitfall 2 so yeah guys let me know what you think in the comment section do you think this game reminds you of pitfall 2 if you do let me know in the comment section as of now let's go on to the final game on this list and for that final game it's a game that's very special in my heart um, it's an original black box game that came out for the Nintendo, the original Nintendo. And the name of that game is Kung Fu. This game is an absolute legend when it comes to side-scrolling beat-em-ups. Um, I remember seeing one of my neighbors play this as a kid and I was blown away, always intrigued. And I think it just um, 
really elevated my fascination as a kid, especially for beat em ups. As a kid, um, that's basically what I liked. I liked beat em ups, and Kung Fu definitely helped pave the way. That Double Dragon, you know, Bad Dudes, there's so many of them. Um, now, what makes this game special? This game has different bosses. There's four stages, there's actually five stages. And you have different bosses and you're trying to figure out their weakness. The whole name of the game is to figure out their weakness. I recently did a playthrough, not a full playthrough, but I did a playthrough nonetheless. If you guys want to check it out on Kung Fu. Now, which games did this inspire? There's a plethora of them, but there's one that really hits home. Let's check it out right now. Now, if there was ever a game that was a spiritual successor to something else, my goodness, Vigilante fits that bill. Totally replicates Kung Fu. I mean, the spirit of it is here. You also have enemies that are charging at you, trying to hug you, trying to beat you up. And also, similar to Kung Fu, you're trying to save a girl. In this case, the na name of the girl is Madonna, which is kind of funny, you know, 80s Madonna. But nevertheless, guys, it's a very similar game. You kick, you punch. The thing about this one is that it has more, it's deeper gameplay. Not by a lot, but it is more significant. Like, you can actually punch uh, a few times as opposed to just single um, handedly once you can punch a few times and it makes the combat a little bit more extensive uh, the kicks are pretty much very similar to Kung Fu but the fact that these enemies come and bear hug you and they're trying to prevent you from going forward um, is very similar to Kung Fu also you have end bosses you know so you fight bosses at the end of each stage this game is straight up a spiritual success for the Kung Fu which is already a legendary game and honestly Vigilante is right up there with one of my favorite arcade games growing up as a kid I remember playing it and just loving it and to this day it holds a very special place in my heart so that's it guys those are the games that I believe are spiritual successors to other games now honestly there's countless examples and I'm sure you're gonna let me know in the comment section which games come to your mind these are the ones that I kind of hold dear to my heart and I wanted to share with you guys because maybe some of them you never even heard of like a boy in this blob and pitfall too you know never maybe you never would have thought of that cor correlation as of now guys i want to thank you so much for watching i want to thank you for subscribing and as always i will catch you absolutely on the next video